Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. And it's time for more roster reviews. And we're going to start today with one of our Knights of Nooch members. For that membership, you get yourself a five-minute review every month, which you can obtain either on a stream or DM me on Discord, and I'll get you into one of these videos. Actually lost. Let's take a look at that uh, roster. Let's get the timer started, and here we go. We start with Fleets. Of course, we always start with Fleets. We flip it around. We take a look. Now we're at 3.4 million. We got Negotiator and not much else going on. We do have Chimera. So let's look at that Empire Fleet and see what that is going to start with. Uh, yeah, not much going on there. Five Star Imperial TIE Bomber. Uh, First Order is not going to be really anything to speak of. We'll take a look at it. But uh, yeah, nothing there. Uh, we want to look at Galactic Republic next. What do you got? So we got Negotiator. Okay, so we have a Negotiator bundle or the gas bundle was purchased. This fleet is functional and it's a decent fleet. You got a Relic 8 Ahsoka, Relic 8 ga uh, Gas. That uh, makes me think something's coming, but we'll take a look here in a moment. And we need to get this Y-Wing up. And the, the ship you want to start thinking about is the Marauder. Um, you know, you really want to make this an endgame fleet. The Marauder is the way to go, of course. And then if we look at our Separatists, not really anything up to snuff there. So, and I don't see Geo ships. I do see Bounty Hunter ships. Let me take a look here. So, Bounty Hunter ships are being farmed. But at the same time as I, I think about that for Executor, there's no TIE Bomber farmed here. So, I'm going to say... 3.4 million. I'm going to put the fleets actually at a four on this, unfortunately. I just don't think that we're really up to snuff on the fleets at the moment. Let's go take a look at the characters. Uh, we've got, okay, darts. We have no no Galactic Legends. But I see, wow, a lot of Relic 8s. I've got Relic 8 Grandmaster Yoda, Relic 8 General Kenobi, which makes me think Jedi Master Kenobi. I got a Relic 8 Snips, which I'm not sure. Is that a rote? I don't know. Relic 8 R2-D2. Relic 8 Jedi Knight Anakin. I was thinking that was gas, but Jedi Knight Anakin. Um, well, actually, Lost, you like Relic 8s and Relic 9 Darth Vader. Wowzers. Wowzers. And then you got these mods on them. Oh, my goodness. Actually, Lost, I need you to work on your mods. Uh, that's not a good mod set. You want crit damage and potency here. You've got the... Right offense and potency set, but then you want crit damage here, not health and potency. And there's no way you're subbing this in because it's got five speed. Mods don't look so good so far. Let's jump down to some more mods. Let's take a look at Wampa here. Yeah, you want mod uh, Wampa really modded for health rather than, than offense, believe it or not. It doesn't make any logical sense, but when you do this icebreaker, you know, you get protection up. Protection up is based on your max health, and that's what keeps her going. She's going to stack offense regardless. With the Omicron on there. Yeah, we got the Omicron. So, Relic 8, man. You take everything to Relic 8. Why Why are you going to go so far, man? <laughs> it's either Relic or Purple. Wow. Th these are clear lines being drawn on this roster. My goodness. So, you got the Ewok bundle. You've got the... You've got the... Uh, the I think it's the Gas bundle. Yeah, you got the Gas bundle. Did you unlock Gas for the 501st? Yeah, you have Gas. You got fives, so well, that was from a bundle, too. So, you're working on gas. I don't think Jedi Master Kenobi is a great idea, but we'll come back to the mods in a moment. Yeah, there's zero watt tambor shards, so Jedi Master Kenobi's not a great idea. Maybe this is the long farm towards Lord Vader. You have Commander Luke Skywalker, Relic 7. Holy cow, this roster, man. This roster. CLS, C-3PO, Han Solo's not done. Where is Han? Chewbacca's there at seven stars. Han Solo down here. Chewbacca and 3PO. Is it? So, look, finish your CLS team. You've got Captain Ray. This roster is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. You want Captain Rex to work really well. Relic up your Phoenix. Relic up 3PO, Chewie, Chewbacca, and Han Solo to finish off your CLS team. This is a finish your farm roster if I've ever seen one. I didn't load this up earlier, so it's probably going to duplicate or repeat. Yeah, there we go. It hit twice. It hits twice as hard for you, my friend. I need you to start working on on, on either assault battles. Like, you're not working on assault battles. Teams. So, the first Farming. assault battle you can work on is is your your uh, rebels to get you done with the military might assault battle. Then you've kind of, kind of got some Sith. I'd like you to get some Imperial Troopers. That's two assault battles. Phoenix will help you get one done if you get that team up. So let's look at speed here. So a lot of unfinished farms. You're going for some specific characters. 
Sila should not be this should not be your fastest character. There's no speed there. There's no there's 30 speed there. I mean, you're all over the place with your speed. I need you to work on your mods. I'm gonna call your mods like so far when I look at it with mods is they're about a five. Your roster is gonna be about a five. I'm gonna bring this whole thing in at a five. Um, I think you need to do some work and, and finish some farms. Work on specific teams and finish them rather than specific characters finishing them. Finish your farms. Your roster comes in at a five. Finish your farms. Work on your uh, work on your mods. Get some better mods. And yeah, pick, pick a fleet. Pick a negotiator fleet and go after that thing and really max that out. And now it's wheel spinning time. Let's go ahead and spend all three names right now so I can uh, get them notated. Make it easier on me. I don't have to keep coming back to the wheel over and over and over again. I got to work for the man today. So, you know, I got to get this knocked down. I'm trying to get this knocked down in the morning. Uh, here's uh first spin is going to get us to... Kit Fisto official, not Kit Fisto, um, not just just Kit Fisto, Kit Fisto official. Let's spin another one here. You write that down, Kit underscore Fisto underscore official. Yeah, you know, you don't want to just be regular Kit Fisto. You don't want to be unofficial Kit Fisto. You don't want to be amateur Kit Fisto. You want to be Kit Fisto official. Now, what do you do with them in game? I have no idea, but I'm going to be looking for Kit Fisto on that roster. I guarantee that. Big Papa Pump. I don't know if he's got one this month. We'll take a look in a moment. Big Papa Pump, look at you, my friend. Coming through strong, as always. Getting that roster review. You know, I don't know how you pull this off so often, but you seem to uh, you seem to get a roster review like every other month on the wheel, but congratulations, Big Papa. Always representing. And final roster review of the day on the big wheel. To get your name on this wheel, go to my Discord. Go to the August free roster review room. Get your name in there. Uh, or, or if it's whatever month is the next month. The next month, get it in there. Broy! We will get Broy done. Let's go take a look at some rosters. Now, it may not look like it with Tylen Baba 69 but this is Kit Fisto official. Let's take a look at this roster right now. Of course, the first thing I'm doing is going through and looking for Kit Fisto. So let's find Kit Fisto. That is the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my entire life. A Gear 8 6-star Kit Fisto and your name is Kit Fisto Official. I need a drink of tea to balance out the disappointment. I, I'm disappointed. That's upsetting. And uh, yeah, get your Kit Fisto up. That's that's my first step. If you're a Kit Fisto Official, you're gonna call yourself that. You've gotta be. You've gotta get that up now. I'm gonna jump into number one. Number one. This is the same Galactic Power as the previous roster, right? We have a Galactic Legend. So. This roster at 3 million with a Galactic Legend, a Darth Traya team in the works. Um, you know, there's less Relic 8, Relic 9s, you know, stuff like that on there. But just more control over the roster. CLS, Chewbacca, 3PO, Han Solo. Um, I don't see Chupio here. I don't think I see Chupio. Yeah. So we've got Chupio's down here being worked on. This is the kind of roster we're talking about at 3.1 million. I'm giving this roster, this roster is at 3.1 million Jedi Knight Luke. This is a, this is like a, this is a 10. The roster is a 10. Wampa's on there. The roster itself is a 10. Now let's look at some other stuff. What about the ships? We got the finalizer on there. Let's look at these fleets in order. Like we said, Empire Fleet, nothing to get excited about. The first order fleet. Um, Ty Echelon's being farmed. It's on the way. It'll be an executor killer soon. The Galactic Republic fleet is nothing the Separatist fleet is also going to be nothing. Wait, but let me look at the Galactic Republic. No negotiator yet. So I would expect to see a negotiator or a malevolence of 3 million. Especially, it looks like this is kind of a free-to-play account. If I look at the characters over here, if I look at the first order. First order type pilot is 5. Well, maybe the maybe you purchased the bundle, actually, because Special Forces and TIE Pilot being Relic 5 kind of barks, you know, kind of screams like bundle to me and no mods on them. So maybe you did buy the bundle for that Kylo. Let's go back here to the ships, though. And I want to take a closer look at... Well, do I want to take a closer look? I think he's going for Executor next. I think that's the next farm here on this account. We got all the... Okay, we got all these guys. Obviously, we need to get the, uh, we need to get the uh, Imperial TIE Bomber done. Let me look at those characters for the for the Executor. Piet is at six stars, so he's working on this. Again, get an Imperial Trooper team up and running for the Assault Battles. We talk about it all the time. Veers, Piet... Dark Trooper, Range Trooper needs to be farmed, and Colonel Stark, that'd be a great way for you to get Tier 3 of those two different Assault Battles done. You've already got the CLS one probably complete. Uh, well, once once Chupio is 7 stars, you'll get it complete. 
I was able to do it with all those guys, Relic and a, and a, a Gear 11 Chupio. So that can be done. I've proven that can be done. Um, I like this Kylo. Let's take a look at his mods here and see what's good. See, like offense with defense. No bueno, my friend. You know, um, you really want him going as fast. And you want health there, by the way, too. Really, well, you want him going as fast as possible. And so you want a speed set and you want crit damage here. You don't want defense for sure. And you want offense here. Get him as fast as possible. Get some offense on him and make him make him really hum. You know what I mean? This is offense set is a good one. Protection. You want to be careful with Luke. Now that's kind of a cool mod for Luke. A, a potency with the tenacity. That's kind of cool for Luke to pass to the rest of the team through Chupio's unique. One thing I want to be careful about here is protection on Luke. If you if you make him, you know, have more protection and health than other characters, then he doesn't fall under the protection of loyal friend, which gives us assistance to Han Solo and the weakest ally. Now, right now you're okay because Chupio is only six stars in gear eleven. Once they get up, be careful. Don't make CLS so so much protection and health that he doesn't get protected there. Now, Jedi Knight Luke makes me think you're they're going to be looking for either Jabba or Jedi Master Luke next. I think you're going to go for Executor, and then I'm going to say go for Jabba. You want to get that Smuggler's Run 2 going, although I think you may be going for Jedi Master Luke here. I don't know which one you're going for, because neither one of them really look like they're on the way. So if I'm going to make a recommendation, Jabba would be better than Jedi Master Luke. I'm putting the mods here. I mean, your roster's a 10. Your fleet is probably a 6. Your mods are going to be like a... I mean, you're doing okay. I'm going to put your mods at a, at a, a 5. So I'm going to bring it to like a 5.7. I'm going to bring it to like a 6, actually. A 6 to six point a quarter. Work on your executor. Then go get your Jabba. Get that done. I love the composition of the roster. Uh, I'm going to make it a 6.5 because your, your roster here is a 10. The mods are okay. The fleets are okay. But that maybe a 7. I don't know. It, it's looking pretty good. I love this 3 million with Kylo on there. It's going to be a 7, maybe a 7 and a quarter on that. All right, Big Papa Pump, we've been here before. Let's take a look. Uh, Kyber 3, uh, you know, already starting off strong, giving us good hopes for the roster. We love Big Papa Pump's roster. We got Executor, Negotiator, Finalizer. These fleets are all going to be banging, I predict, right now. Empire Fleet looking really good. 7 million, you know, we don't have side yet. Still working on Interceptor. Gauntlet, you know, Gauntlet would add a lot to this, this fleet, but... With TIE Defender and a Relic Iden, you're in really good shape there with that fleet. Your first order fleet, of course, well, actually, you really need to get the Special Forces TIE Fighter up to really make this work for you. Um, you may be able to pull off an Executor counter with this, although I don't know. Maybe you can because the Special Forces would still come in and call the assist, but yeah, I would, I would be working on that. It's a really easy ship to gear up or to uh, star up, so uh, Negotiator Fleet. It's looking all right. It's a functional negotiator fleet. It's not knocking anybody out of the water, but with these three relic, relic Plocoon, and the Y Wing, we're doing okay with that Galactic Republic fleet. And then our Separatist fleet is lacking. The Hyena Bomber is not there. I'm going to give these fleets um, with Executor in there. We'll take a look at the Bounty Hunters, make sure that everybody's reliced up. Yes, they are. I'm going to give these the fleets like a, I'm going to say six and a half at seven million. I would want to see some more complete. I'm going to give it six and three quarters on the fleets. Let's go over and take a look at Datacrons, actually. We're farming Datacrons. I, uh, this is about a seven, seven, seven and a half, something like that. We got solid data. Maybe be like an eight, actually. We got solid Datacron farming in there. We have one, two, three, four Galactic Legends, including Jabba the Hutt at seven million Galactic Power. That is superb. Very, very nice indeed. Let's make sure there's none other Galactic Legends hiding in there that I'm not paying attention to. No, okay. Um, Cal Kestis in there for Jedi Knight, Jedi Master Luke, Ben Solo for Rey. Um, let's, this is a nice roster. It's a really nice roster. Jedi Knight Revan. Do we have Darth? We have Darth Bane. We got Star Killer. Do we have Darth Revan? We don't have Darth Revan yet. So something to work on there for sure. Maybe we have them, but you don't have them. You know what I mean? Like you got them on there, but ain't nothing happened. Man, back in the day, I would have railed into you for that. But as soon as Lightspeed Bundles came around. It makes everything just much more difficult to uh, focus on those farms. But Jedi Knight Revan is complete. What's coming up next for this roster? I know we've looked at it a bunch of times. I mean, we got Jabba and Luke up there. I'm going to guess Leia is going to be next on the list. Because why not? Princess Nisa is six stars. Uh, Imperial Remnant, we've got Scout Trooper at seven stars. We've got Captain Rex is done. Very nice. 
I knew that'd be done. Excellent work there on Captain Rex. And finally, we take us just, just, just type Drogon. Drogon is seven stars. So it looks like uh, Leia is going to be coming up next on the roster, which makes a lot of sense with Luke and Jabba out there. Are you farming the uh, the Profundity as well? Where am I here? Rogue One. Profundity's not really being farmed. That's kind of... I wonder about that one. What about your Sith ships? Well, that's not really online yet either because you don't have Darth Revan. It's time to work on another capital ship, whether it's Profundity or Leviathan. And it's time to start getting that in your bullseye. But do I, do I see Boss Nass? Not yet, but Jar Jar ready here at seven. Four Galactic Legends, Jedi Cal. I'm going to give, I mean, at seven million, this, this is a high. We got Treya in there. Sign and Nihilus are being worked on. I'm going to give this like an, the roster itself is 8.5 plus. That's a nice roster. The fleets are okay. The Datacrons are good. The roster is really nice. Now let's take a look at some mods for us here. Let's look at Jabba's mods. What do we got Jabba modded for? He's got an extra 177 speed. Um, no potency. Got the no tenacity. A lot of people put tenacity or potency there, but health is okay too. Um, yeah, that's a good mod set on Jabba. I can already tell it's a good mod set. Let's take a look at Admiral Piet. Where are we with him? What's his speed? 352. 173 extra speed. That's a lot of extra speed on Piet. And yeah, these crit... I don't know if I like crit chance, but it doesn't matter on Piet. It's just about the speed. Just get the number on there. That's a very fast Piet indeed. Let's go a little bit deeper here to see where we are. We do have First Order Officer faster than Hux. I know a lot of you guys love that. I don't love it, but I get it. I'm... 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 I'm loosening up to the idea here in my old age as, as time marches slowly on. You know, your mods are great too. Your mods are in really good shape. I'm going to say your mods are like an 8-2. I'm going to bring this roster in at like a 7 and 3 quarters, 8? Maybe, maybe higher. The ships need a little bit of love. You know, your ships are kind of a bunch of like fleets that are almost done, but not quite done. So I definitely would work on some fleets here. So fleets, I'm going to say 7.75. I think mean, that malevolence fleet really brings it down for me. 7.75, but looking good. And go get that Leia and Profundity or Leviathan. Okay, Broy slash Spinobi Broy, I guess. Let's see this roster here. Erodium 2, we got we got Kylo in here. Let's pull it up. We have 4.2 million. Again, a, a Galactic Legend of 4 million Galactic Power. Looking pretty good there. The fleets look like they're all going to be kind of working, wor like works in progress. Whip, as we've come to know it through uh, Capital Games. Yeah, so we need to get um, a Gauntlet Starfighter. You need to tie Defender. That, that fleet isn't really doing a lot for me right now. The First Order fleet, of course. This one's complete, so we're, we're countering executors here, so good job. I mean, you're still working on the finalizer, but you're still able, you are able to counter uh, executors of that, I'm told by a lot of people. We got the Y-Wing done, so this is a functional negotiator lineup. It's doing some good things. Marauder would make it awesome. Clone Sergeant would be a really nice add to this, this fleet as well for you, for sure. And our Separatist fleet is a work in progress as well. Those fleets are looking pretty good. Um, we do have, we don't have executor. Now that's interesting to me. Because I thought I saw, I mean, the, oh, IG-2000 is only six stars, and he's gear 12. But this is a definite uh, executor farm coming up next. Let's go look at that roster. Fleets, I'm going to bring in at like a six, six and a half, somewhere in that range. It's a good good set of fleets, nothing super exciting. But we got Spring Leader Kylo Ren over here, and and we're going to be, I mean, this is going to be happening, right? P.S. going to be Relic. Yes, there he is. Our bounty hunters are all underway. Yep, so Executor is right around the corner, probably on the 15th of August. Uh, our pal Broy Boy will be unlocking the Executor, so that'll be a nice little ad for this roster. We got Star Killer. Um, we got Keller and Beck. Now, that always makes me look... People love Keller and Beck. People love Keller and Beck, like nobody's business. I That was a big get for, for Capital Games by putting Keller and Beck in there. So, congrats to you on Keller and Beck and that Jedi team. You're putting him in there with your Jedi. Let's take a look. Um, well, not a lot of great teams. We got five. We've only got ten Jedi. So, I guess you're squeezing them in there maybe with Qui-Gon Jinn? I don't know. Interesting. Very interesting. So, we do have Keller and Beck. Oh, we have a Treya team here. Let's take a look at that bad boy. Treya, Savage, Nihilus, Sion. I love it. Yeah, I love it. So, this is this is great. So, we've got four million. We've got a Galactic Legend. We've got... Revan, we got a CLS team, which looks like it's probably complete. Yeah, complete. Um, did I see Han Solo somewhere? Maybe I didn't see Han Solo. Hold on. Am I missing him? 
There's Han Solo. He's there. We got a Phoenix team that's uh, a work in progress as well. So we got the Treya team we went down. We got Kylo. We got Jedi Knight Revan. We got Darth Revan being worked on. We've got Wampa. This roster is going to come in at like an eight. You know, it's a really good roster. We got the Imperial Troopers being worked on. Let me look at those bad boys. I didn't look close enough last time. Yeah, so you're actually working your way through some assault battles here with this team. If you put Range Trooper in there instead of Gideon, you'll get to Tier 3. And you may need to get some Relic levels on Veers and Stark, but you can get to Tier 3 with a Gear 12 Range Trooper in there. Uh, uh, that would be a great a great add for your roster and a lot of extra Relic stuff every month for the roster as well. How's that Datacron farming going? Pretty good. I mean, I'm going to put that at like five complete ones here, even though you probably don't have... You have Nihilus and Boss, but other than that, not these characters. But yeah, I mean, great... For this roster of 4 million, great Datacron farming. I'm going to give that like an 8 or a 9. Uh, let's take a look at the mods here. Again, we look for speed, which we have. Crit damage, which we have. Offense, which we have. That's a great one. 29 speed. Very well done. Um, yeah, nice mods on Kylo. Let's go and sort by speed here and see what we got. Piet, Dash Rendar. Dash Rendar with an Omicron and a Zeta, too. But it looks like the speed is kind of falling off heavily as we move through the roster here. Um... Yeah, one... Well, that's a lot of speed, actually. Still 133 extra speed on, on Hux there. Jedi Knight Revan is looking at... We do fall off. So the speed falls off. You need some more speed. But you are putting the right mod sets on your characters. So that's a positive thing. We want some health here, actually. Um, health is going to... The, the extra protection that we get here, bonus protection, comes from health. So you want to get a bunch of health on Tria. That's how you want her mod speed with health. But yeah, man, uh, the, the mods I'm going to bring in at like a 6 or 7. You know, you're doing the right mod sets. You need a lot of work on speed. But this roster is in really good shape. I'm going to bring the overall roster with ships, characters, and Datacrons in at around a 7. I'm looking for that Executor, followed probably by a Jedi Knight Luke or Leia Organa run, something like that. Jedi Knight Luke into Jabba or Jedi Master Luke. Just your typical farming here. I don't see the Resistance bundles purchased. A lot of Gear 12, but you're not... The one good thing is he's not adding a lot of extra gear, not adding any extra gear to these gear 12, just one on Basilisk Sean Fallen down there. So he's probably working on Basilisk Sean Fallen. So good job, very efficient. Go get your Jedi Knight Luke after you get your Executor and then Jabba or Luke from there. And that's going to wrap us up today. I hope you guys have enjoyed another round of uh, roster reviews for the channel and for you and for everybody, all of my children out there. I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you soon. And always remember, Nooch too good.